Can I tell you how absolutely ridiculous it is that in a game that has a 10 plus year old map, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Origins, I am not allowed to go away for a single weekend to DJ my set at Coachella before someone decides, hey, what if we just picked up a 10 year old game and got a brand new world record? And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is what we're about to watch right now. The new world record Black Ops 2 Origins. I, I don't think you guys understand how absolutely unbelievably off the zombies community has been going. No! Six hours before he got the world record, he actually died on world record pace. That is so sad. <laughs> he was literally done. All he had to do was put the Maxis drone up there and he actually died. That was another run that he just restarted where he didn't get the foot luck there. That is insane. That is unbelievable that he would die right there. Whenever I say when we're watching these that it is totally possible for someone to die at any point during these, that is literally the perfect perfect example. This guy is better at Origins than everybody watching this video combined, and he still manages to die in that spot because of how fast you have to do this and how absolutely optimized and unsafe you have to play in order to get this world record on one of the hardest maps of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Dank Slushy. He has been on the channel before, and somehow, now, 10 years later, here he is, still acquiring world records on Origins. I literally don't understand how some of these players are as good at this game as they are, but sure enough, here he is. Again, giving it up for the mouse and keyboard players. We'd love to see that here. Wait, he's going this way. Wait, is this, is this a new... Okay, this is this is somewhat of a new route here. We we haven't seen this before in a long time, especially with, been, since we've been watching a lot of Black Ops Three Origins World Records. That is this is something that is completely completely different. He's clearing the round really really fast. Gets another grenade kill there and runs over here. It is so different watching this. Oh my god. So what he just did right there is did this insane jump to get up here, jumped around the edge because there's a big death barrier there that only deactivates once you actually jump up onto the platform, gets the correct robot foot. That is so clean to watch. That is like, that is literally the reason why this map and Shadows of Evil have overtaken Dur Isendrak for me in terms of the absolutely insane like tricks slash glitches you can use in order to complete these maps even faster. I, 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 I hate to say it, Der Eidsdrak was my goat for a long time. If you guys don't remember, I did a stream with Jason and Blundell to actually like play Der Eidsdrak with him. And I thought that was gonna be it, man. I thought that was gonna be my favorite map forever. I hate to say it, Shadows of Evil and this map right here, Origins, have overtaken it as the greatest map of all time for me. Like, I, I it's third. I still don't know which one's better, Shadows or Origins, but uh, Der Eidsdrak is in a solid third at this point. I know that's, Hearsay to say, because I was always the biggest Dur Isendrak lover, but holy crap, after watching these runs and just really getting to know these maps so much, they they are, they are, they're the goats, man. All right, so here we go. We are watching D Dank Slushy. Again, all of his links will be down below in the description. Please go down there, follow his Twitch, follow him on YouTube, everything like that. Who knows what world record he's going to get next because he's been on the channel so much recently. Absolutely popping off with Origins. Grabs the disc here. I always like watching and then seeing how much of these runs I remember and where I would actually mess up. Did he, see, I, I think I would have already forgetting, forgot to get the disc, and even if I was on world record pace, it would have been game over because I forgot to get the disc. <laughs> okay, I thought he was doing some sort of glitch or something like right there. He was just shooting the last zombie head through the wall there, <laughs> which is kind of insane, honestly. So here we go, round four. Some really, really clean movement here. I, I, that's one thing I really like watching is BO2 movement because BO2 is not a incredibly easy game. Great double points there. Again, points are much more necessary in this run compared to Black Ops 3 because you simply do not have a... Uh, gets the nice headshot there because you simply don't have the gobble gums to allow you to do as much as cleanly. Like points actually are very, very, very important, important in this. Not that they're not in the Black Ops 3 run as well, but you can get away with a lot more in this one. Here it goes and lands here. Goes over, gets him another Mauser out of there. He's been digging a lot of these dig sites, but he hasn't really got many ice staff parts yet. So I guess since the middle robot did just come, 
He's going to go ahead and get the soul box started. Another double point. Absolutely insane, insane double points RNG here. As I said, it's very, very important to get that, uh, to get the points as quickly as possible. But he's not going to be able to like Mauser his way through all of these first. He's going to save it for the actual kills because he needs to actually like progress the round as quickly as possible here. Well, while the round is flipping, go ahead and do the dial there. He's probably going to grab stamina up here just because you don't have a perkaholic. There are no gobble gums in this Fast run. Fast foot, slow foot. Okay. Finishes that. Fast foot, but on the slow. Grabs the disc so. there. The disc was actually in a great spot there. It wasn't down in the little like tunnel thing. Not a bad start. Not a bad start at all. Not a bad start at all. He gets a max ammo, which again is really, really huge. Doesn't wait to pick it up because he's just about done with this little soul box and he's just going to be yeeting out of here as quickly as possible. Couple more kills. He should be good. Has another robot coming from the far side there. Wow, it's crazy how little of the map he's actually opened up so far. This is such an interesting because we've watched so many origins on Black Ops 3 speedruns. It's so interesting to watch this. All right, he does have the soul box collected. He's going to go ahead and work on ending the round here. Just needs to... Yep, there it is. Last zombie. Could have saved, like, maybe half a second. And if he, if he had a little bit better, uh, like, headshot percentage. So actually swaps out the 74U for the MP40. So he was just using the 74U to, like, progress the round a little bit. Also, really, really nice movement here for BO, for BO2. Gramophone places it. Nice. Yeah, loses about there. half a second there because the gramophone didn't place the first time almost dies remember we are on bo2 so it's a two hit down right now <laughs> which is just so funny if you look at today's zombies like bro we're making a bunch of soft gamers out here man like 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 nowadays the zombies are like a 10 hit down it's like 10 hits to actually die in zombies like back in the day it was two hits and the zombies could hit you from super far away like what have we what, what are we what are we doing here with with mw3 zombies and cold war what, what are we doing here the armor system is flawed bring us back to actual zombies with stakes <laughs> i say as i pop my 17th perkaholic i'm just kidding but not really does have the zombie blood here i'm gonna be really interested to see the actual zombie blood rng if it makes a difference there we go ends the round gonna go ahead and run back up I think he's gonna go pick up this gramophone. Getting some nice little like strafe sprints here. Yeah, picks up the gramophone since he has the, the bottom area, the mound opened up, the excavation site. Runs back. He did not finish this box no, yet. MP40 there, but. We do have middle robot coming, so he needs to finish this quickly, but he he's almost done with this. Filled up so many souls on this, he has plenty of time. Yeah, MP40 is just so much better for me. For any day of the week. Oh, God, dude. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he's played BO2 literally hundreds of hours more than me, but playing BO2 just always make me makes me scared, man. It is crazy the rainbow of things we got for BO2. Like the the fact that this map is in the same really game that Transit was the starting map for is absurd. Like it's it, that's just silly mode. He's waiting for some zombies to spawn. He's going to stick to the side over here. Goes and looks for the uh, the part. Throws the grenades out. And actually rotates over. Cuts his losses. Buys some early ammo here. I guess, I guess he's pretty confident that he doesn't need so much ammo. Oh, a nuke is really good for ending the round if he wants to do that. I would have died there, 100%. <laughs> I think if you can hear my voice right right now, you would have died there as well. He does, in fact, save one zombie, though. Hits the jump perfectly. Nuke goes away. Waits for the robot to go away. Plane, shoots the plane down, grabs the disc. I wonder if he's going to grab Jug here. Does grab claymores, which from what I understand is going to be used for the panzer because the, the panzer apparently gets absolutely evaporated by claymores. So 
just gonna go ahead and kill some more zombies. I hear the Panzer spawning in. Gets a nice reload here. Jeez, man. Such an insane strategy. Grabs the fire staff part. Claim more to kill some more zombies. It's probably gonna try to end the round here. Grab some more ammo. Oh man, what a banger. <laughs> Is he lit? Okay, I think he's doing a classic. He's listening to music here and we and it's not on the VOD. So we're, he's literally listening to like some copyrighted song that we have no idea. <laughs> it's always my favorite when people sing along, but then the VODs don't have the actual music. So you just hear someone going. Don't ask, don't make me repeat that. I hit you. <laughs> oh, right. it didn't take me very long. Next because chest up. I was pretty good at the map when I learned them. Another double points here. Well, space. I guess I guess it's about time for another double points. It's been a while since he got one. Already pretty good at movement, so it didn't take too long. Zombie dies out. Yeah, I, dude, the number of times I've died to a headless zombie like that is insane. All right, here we go. The final all the stuff soul there. box is being filled up here. Like the one that I just did. Yeah, yeah. Earning as many points as possible here with that double points. Another insta kill. Another double points. Not enough zombies left to really make it worth it. Kills the last zombie there. It's crazy that he knew exactly where that zombie was too. Like, actually, the exact location. <laughs> All right, turns on the generator. Starts uh, starts snowing, so he does actually get his next ice staff part. He's missing the middle ice staff part. Does the little trick to put the fists away. He probably would have died if he didn't know how to do that trick. There's a trick where you can, like, pick him up and then swap your weapons away so you don't have to go through the whole animation of, like, opening up the fists. Gets the next fire staff part. Is absolutely about to die right now. He's fine. Puts the thing into there. And oh, what a great train up of all the zombies. Fist just making this an absolute breeze, man. Oh, hey, that's oh. a good run. Did he even check that, that? I didn't see him even check if I that was. Too. Good dials here, and we go for 29. Hey, yo. Wait, I didn't even, I don't think he checked. I think he just went over there and it was like, well, if it's not this foot, the run's literally over anyway, so I'm just gonna let the robot step on us. That's so sweat. <laughs> That's so sick, what? No, it's, that is so sick. So he does actually get the Max's part as well. I think I have a command for it. He did account for all redundancies here, so he would have been fine no matter where it spawned, but he got it. The stone is almost cleaned up with those melee kill souls. Grabs the ice stone. Six, 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 six. Pre looks at the actual puzzle here so he can shoot it from across the ring whenever he gets back down here. Oh my God. <clears throat> oh, that's interesting. Wait, the the old, the world record is 37 to one by reality sure SR. The 3654 is invalid as it was unknowingly played on an older version of plutonium that provides an unfair advantage. Interesting. So like literally the, a run got invalidated uh, as a world record. And that even Grand being said, this beat cycle. the invalidated run. That's how insanely fast this run is. is possible. <clears throat> All right, he does have enough run. points for Pack-a-Punch. So I'm assuming when he comes back up, he's gonna have the Ice Staff and then a Pack-a-Punch pistol. He's gonna go preset some of these dials here. He's probably gonna grab but Mule Kick. This one is not that run. All right. <laughs> okay, Mule Kick I wish I achieved. Ice Staff crafted. <clears throat> All right, he places a claymore here. Interesting, dude. <laughs> this 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 map is this map is insane. Gets the last Maxis drone part. 
The collectathon is being achieved. He does have to he does have to go deal with these generators right now. This is accounted for in the strategy though cuz he is going to be just fine. Gets that reload. The Mauser ammo is unbelievably important because you can do this because you can move the fastest you can in the entire game by using that Mauser to, to basically like jet propulse yourself. So he's absolutely fine that he got the Templars there because that was on the route that he needed to take anyway to take the fire step. Apparently you can do that. <laughs> that looked like he shot, switched his weapon, like back to the staff and then shot again and did that in very quick su succession. That was insane. There we go. Challenge completed. Fire orb is opened up, but he's not gonna pick it up just yet. Gramophone is done at this location, so he only needs to gramophone at two more spots for the lightning and the wind now. Goes ahead and opens this up. Yeah, this Gonna go ahead and grab that double tap. But Great reward the from this cycle map. Four cycle. So the no shield building there. because that's Wood that's cringe. We don't we don't need to build the shield when we're a speedrunner. We're not dying. Except for that last run where he did die and the shield was saved him. <laughs> but then again, it would have been world record pace if he did. Okay, shoots the first thing for the overworld challenge. Attracting hell of zombies here. Wait, what is he training these up for? Oh, oh, for the for the uh, souls down here. Oh my God, he still got it. So I always keep punching no matter what. That is, that was, cr Ooh, that, that jump is harder than it looks. I know how to do it, but that jump is not as easy as it looks there. Also, he got the nuke out of there and he managed to punch and kill enough zombies and get the, get enough melee kills to get the airstrike grenades, like barely before that nuke killed all of them to finish it off. Okay, finishes the overworld challenge for the upgraded ice staff. God, it's so optimized this run. Also, it cannot be overstated how like clean his movement is here. Shoots the little orb there. It, I, I, it is unfathomable how far he already is in this Easter egg. Okay, makes his way out. Back down to the crazy place. Last fire staff part two. Wait, wait, did he pick it up? Wait, he didn't pick it up. I mean, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's literally fine, but like, that is terrifying that he didn't actually pick that up there. <laughs> like, I don't like that one bit. <laughs> yeah, it's highlighted on my channel. Okay. If you want to watch it. And... I don't want to watch it though. <laughs> Grabs that, so he has. He now has the wind staff parts. He places it down. He's actually missing a lot of staff parts. I mean, I am definitely used to. You can pull out a claymore inside of there, huh? <laughs> Wait, what? That's crazy. It's actually crazy how many staff parts he he literally is still missing. And not not that it's a problem, but like usually on Bo3 you'd have all the staff parts like all ready, ready to go because of gobble gums. They just help out so much. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering, I'm wondering how, how he's feeling about this run. Like, d is, is this, is this it? It doesn't seem like the community census is that like, this is the fastest this map will ever be. BO3 Origins is very close to dead. It's very close to the perfect run. And I'd be very surprised if we see a world record anytime soon, just because of the sheer amount of luck it takes to get that world record. But like, this one, this one may be, may be possible. This is, this is a huge time improvement though. Last zombie is dead. So he's using those stair claymores because he knows the zombies have to go through there. 
actually grabs the part of this time, thank God. Dude, that was something. He's moving so fast, he's taking fall damage. That's crazy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I will attempt to trio skip. You will attempt trio skip? Okay. Let's see. Does the dial here? God, the movement is... He is really making this movement look so much easier than it actually is. Throws the G-Strike grenade, probably to take out the Panzer. Shoots that. That's actually a very, very hard shot to hit. Because you have to get the angle absolutely correct. Does the overworld challenge for the wind staff like it's absolutely nothing? Something's happening. I can feel it. Thank you, American Samantha. Thanks for letting us know that something is happening. <laughs> Alright. Already had the dials preset from last time he was down here. Oh, he actually didn't take the Panzer out. Does get a zombie blood here, but I, I have a feeling that he didn't really want the zombie blood. I guess it doesn't, I guess it doesn't matter at all because he needed to end the round right there anyway. He needed to progress the round for more souls because he's going to have to start filling up the ultimate staff souls and stuff. Okay. Only has 28 Mauser ammo, decides to use 10 of those shots to progress faster. God, the movement is so fast. He's literally bee hopping in zombies. I hope you guys understand how difficult this uh, movement there is. There is a Blade in video from a few years ago. That explains a lot, but it's okay. a little outdated. Okay. Through the portal again. Picks up the gramophone to take it to its final resting place. Or the, the last I place. I the information in there is wrong, but. Uh, I mean, we do more stuff now because it's just been like three or four years. Slush, I made 23 cycle on patch for BO3 Yo, today. 23? Ross, dude, Shit. Ross Aiden is literally still it's running BO3 Origins. Or. Basically, what he just said is that he is still working on Origins and he's using like an RNG like generator to like get perfect RNGs to practice. But he's saying that BO3 is... <laughs> oh, God. BO BO3 might not be dead. BO3 Origins might not be dead. Sounds about right. <laughs> I, there, there is definitely a trend where whenever people lose interest in the newer games, these old classics get absolutely obliterated by speedrunners. Like, everyone would be on MW3, right? If everyone was on MW3 and zombies right now, used up the rest of the ammo, not a single shot left. If, if the whole community was on MW3 right now and having a blast with it, this, this run would not exist. Like, we'd be coming up with challenges. I think dude, MW3 is hard because there's no, like, real, actual good speedrun, like, thing for it. Because there's so much, like... I, I don't know, it's not a good speedrun game. It's weird. Okay. Grabs the weapon that he will be using for this fight in a bit. Grabs the fire staff, There's, and now it is time to fill up get, uh, souls. A nuke to spawn on me again. Actually, last time it was two nukes. Yeah, so if you, if you get a nuke accidentally right here, your whole run is screwed because you just waste so, many, so much time in so many zombies' souls. It's crazy how a nuke spawning, like, whenever you kill a zombie right in front of your face and a nuke spawns, it's either the best or the worst thing of all time. It's always either right at the end of a round when you're trying to save a zombie for Easter egg steps, or you're about to die and it's literally, you're a lifesaver. There's no in between. There's never just like a eh, okay nuke that spawns right on your face. It's always the best or worst. All right, so he's getting his kills for the fire staff. One staff does get completed here. Yeets out of here a little bit early. Okay. 
Okay. Another ultimate staff ready to go. He's gonna go ahead and leave those staffs in their pedestals because this game has the most elite glitch of all time coming up. He also has the things he needs to build the, um... oh wait, what is he grabbing? Oh, the max. The, the the certified the certified max ammo is pretty nice actually calls the tank immediately upon getting down there I don't know if y'all caught that he called the tank immediately upon getting down there so it can be on the way while he was doing the overworld challenge ends the round grabs the next lightning staff part and now he needs to make it to the tank so he can make this jump Obviously, obviously he's gonna do it with like time to spare dude if, if the community ever found a way Oh, perfect. He gets the generator five for the Templar zombies throws the G strike to take him out If there's ever a way to skip using the tank for this part The every single Easter egg run ever is gonna be invalidated man There's gonna be such a time save that ever gets figured out Weird Come here guys what is happening? Okay, well that was not great. That that was I, I'm gonna be honest, that was not great there. That was that was like a good five, ten second time loss there, simply because the G strike didn't take out the Templars. I don't know if it just landed slightly off or whatever. Everyone is be bewildered in the chat by this. I was attacking the wall. Is that ripper just annoying? Yeah, I think it's just, I think it's just annoying. But that's really, really tilting. That like is, you, you fine. have so much luck that goes into getting this run, and you have something like that happen. It's really annoying. Runs alive. Temps are done, so take it. Yeah, I guess it's offset a little bit by the fact that the Templars had such a good spawn there. That was great. Oh, and then Valley's in the chat. Dude, I love how every single, every single insane speedrunner <laughs> is always in each other's chats for the world record run. All right, let's see. Yippee! All right, he's still cooking here. God, that jump is so satisfying every time. All right. Needs to preset these dials. Using up a lot of Boom Hilda ammo to move. Dude, I think Bro has taken more damage from fall damage than he has from the oh, zombies sure in this. Keep these two guys alive. Right, he's moving up. <laughs> there needs to be a glitch figured out where you can sh shoot the boom Hilda as a ground and then levitate up. Like you, like you can go to the top of the the mound instantly by shooting the boom Hilda at the ground. <laughs> I want more movement tech in zombies. If in case it's uh, not obvious, I want more movement tech. <laughs> Misses the door a little bit. It's fine. Two minutes and two seconds. Trios are two ten. Or 212-ish. Okay. Got out of there. Grabs the gramophone. So that is the last area the gramophone will be in before it sits at the wind yeah, tunnel for the rest like of the run. 29 is so important and trio skip is so important. It's because every run's the same up until rainfire unless you do anything about it. All right, here we go. People are starting to believe the first this is the run is entering the chat. Especially for Black Ops 2. Okay. Has the orb going up, ends the round perfectly. He just needs souls in the next round though. <clears throat> oh God, it's, I, I really wanna see this trio skip. <laughs> Okay, so now he's headed back down to the crazy place. He's going to place all uh, all the staffs, fill them up, and then only grab the fire staff. I can kill like, I think I can kill six, but I'm gonna kill three. 
Make sure I don't do anything stupid. Yeah, so he's he's pretty thinning out the round as much as possible. As much as he can while still needing the souls. Yeah, these guys have has they have the amount of zombies on every single round memorized, by the way. This is this is pretty much the exact spot where he died last time. Not not in the same spot in the Easter egg, but the same place in the crazy place. I mean, the mental fortitude to have a world record run, you die, and then still be playing six hours later, going for the world record, is otherworldly. <clears throat> Gonna go ahead and open this up. Get the last final kills for the last staff. Okay. There we go. Yeah, so he was right. He had six, uh, he could have killed six zombies, but he just killed them at the very end there instead. Okay. He has all staffs finished, so now He's gonna go ahead uh, and 70. now he's gonna go ahead and do the glitch that makes this Easter egg not as horrible solo. 71 with Panzer. Panzer on the way in. So here we go. Now what he's gonna do is gonna he's gonna trick the game into thinking that all of the stabs have been placed inside of each individual robot. Places it, pick it up. Place it, pick it up. Place it, pick it up. And now the game thinks that he took all of the staffs and put them in each of the robot heads, skipping maybe 30 minutes of an Easter egg. Holy shit. I'm not even gonna bother. That was terrifying. I actually thought he was dead. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be another, and then after that, it was like three hours later, and then the real run starts. <laughs> All of this was just leading up to a death. All right. Okay, I can kill nine more. It's insane that he knows exactly how many zombies he can kill. One, two, three, four, no, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'd be really scared that I accidentally killed one and I wouldn't kill any more. Okay, yeah, he, he, he just liked me. No, he actually, he actually killed nine. He yeets the grenade early. All he has to do is press the button, and if it landed correctly, he's good. Good foot as well. Fast foot. Yep. And now what he needs is zombie blood. Now he needs zombie blood. Okay. Now he needs zombie blood. He's searching the dig piles. Oh, I thought that was it for a second. <gasps> oh my God. Dude, that was such a fast zombie blood. He eats that over here. Oh my god. <laughs> so now he needs to get these uh, these punches. People are starting to call world record in the chat. Okay, here we go. Now he just needs to get lots of punches and not die. This is another scary... This is another scary part of the run does waste one zombie hand with glowing hands there okay he's he's got great luck so far now he needs to not die a lot of people die right here When you pick up those fists, a lot of people during the animation die. Obviously, he knows how to skip the animation, which helps a lot. Really fast round in. The only thing that could have made that faster is if he got a nuke there. 
That was so fast. He just needs to remember to grab the Maxis drone again. And he's got to hit. Yep, he grabs the drone. All right. <laughs> Some of the chat, remember the, ma the mistakes you made earlier. <laughs> and don't do them this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 31 plus 53, 84. So he knows, he knows exactly how many souls he needs. And he's gonna check his kill count. God, this is such a cool last step of an Easter egg. It's actually absurd how sick this is. A nuke. I want to say he actually might use this nuke to end the round early. Only if he like can't find the last zombie though. <gasps> Insta kill is massive. Allows you to be safe and actually kill the zombies so much faster. Okay, grabs ammo, buys more ammo, because why not? He's got 20, nothing else to spend 31. points on. 31. Oh my god! Dude, Slushy's going crazy right now! <laughs> Still able to use a lot of the insta kill. Where are these zombie spawns, though? He's got his is literally kills away from it now. Bruh. Why is it not popping pop? Oh, and the zombie blood to lock it in. Grabs the fire staff. There, I mean, I mean, the zombie blood is out. There's really nothing he can do. Wow. Okay. Dude, <laughs> goes, that is insane. He goes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The absolute goat. Dude, I think I, I had the exact same blood, dude. I can't believe. <laughs> I, I just watch all of these zombie no, legends just trade right off here. world records with each other. Damn. Just constantly trade off world records. It's like, hey, bro, it's your turn to hold it. <laughs> it's your turn to hold it, bro. Let's let's swap it out. Nah, nah, you have the oh. world record today. <laughs> yes, hello, chat. All, all I could think about during the 100 kill was the run from earlier. <laughs> Guys, every fast, single person needs to go down and fast leave a foot. like Just on this video foot. and subscribe to and Dang Slushy. So. He is he is he is Hemothy right now. He is absolute Hemothy right now. I can't believe it. Yo, BK, thank you for the 10 gifted. <laughs> no, this is Wait, did, wait, someone 31. already updated his nightbot command stuff. to say the world record is me. That's incredible. <laughs> oh, that's so sick. My hands are numb. Yeah, six hours of, uh, like, my brain would be absolutely fried. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, salute this man. Salute the dog. Thanks, Slushy. The absolute goat. Yeah, Origins. That is pretty solid. Origins, I have a feeling this isn't the last, but my God, this is going to be a hard one to beat. This is going to be a really hard one to beat. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.